Hi guys, I'm Jessie, and today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of foam rolling. So I know a lot of us have been working out hard at home. We've been doing a lot more running or cycling or walking as our cardio outside. So it's a great opportunity now to release some of those lower body muscles. This will be a very, very short um, little foam rolling segment that you can take with you and practice anytime you need a little bit of a release. So I will be concentrating in this video on the lower half. Later on, I can focus a little bit more on the back and the upper body. So I do have a pretty firm foam roller. So if you have one that is too firm for your use, there's plenty of other choices that you can get. I do like having one that's pretty firm. It does provide a nice little bit of release. I will tell you before we get started, if you've never done foam rolling before, it can be a rather intense experience. So don't worry, take breaks when you need. And if you don't wanna move at all, if you'd rather just let the body lay on the roller, that's fine too. So let's go ahead and get started with a quick little warm up. So we're gonna carefully lower ourselves down onto our floor or onto our mat, taking the hands behind the thighs and rolling down. So as we come all the way down, let your arms relax. Take a nice deep inhale and then exhale, let it go. Take an inhale in through your nose. And then as you exhale, start to roll the back up off the floor. Take an inhale at the top. And then exhale, roll your way down. Inhale first. Exhale, roll your way up. Push the floor away. Send your knees out away from your forehead and roll down. So however high you want to go, that's up to you. Press into the feet and just start to heat up your hamstrings, your glutes. And again, lubricating the spine. Let's do two more times. Exhale to roll up. Inhale to stay at the top. And then exhale to roll down. Last time, just building some heat up and down the body. And then next time you find yourself at the bottom, let's separate our feet a little wider than our mat. Knock the knees together, arms out to the side, and start to sway your knees side to side. You can turn your gaze in opposition to the knees. As you feel your shoulder blades, just anchor the floor and get a little rotation. Let's do that twice more each side. Exhale, and then inhale. Exhale back one more time. And then we'll come back to center. Draw the knees in, inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up. Come to a seat, take an inhale. And as you exhale, walk your way down. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, roll up. Do that one more time, inhale tall. And then exhale, round your way down. Maybe grab your feet, maybe you don't. And then roll yourself back up. Sweep your legs around to the side. Let's come onto all fours. Fan your fingers out wide, knees underneath your hips. Inhale to reach your chest. And then exhale to round through your spine. Inhale, look out ahead of you. And then exhale, let your gaze drop towards your knees as you inhale, think length. As you exhale, round through the back one more time like that. Now, as you go into that cat, you're gonna roll back towards your heels and snake the chest forward. So again, we're doing a fairly short warm up because we have a really short little series here on the roller. And again, this is meant to be you coming from maybe sitting in your desk chair and just lubricating that spine in preparation for doing some rolling one more time. And then hold back into that very rounded shell stretch. You can reach your arms in front of you. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, roll yourself up. Good. Let's grab our roller. So we're going to start rolling through the front of the thighs, through the large part of the quads. Now, I'm going to remind you a few times, we don't want to roll over joints or bones. We want to stay in soft tissue land. So as you're coming on down, you're going to start just below your hips. And we're going to take a few full passes through. So you can go all the way down to just above your knee and then move back to just below your hip. Again, we don't want to roll over the knee. Now, one thing you're going to notice when you're doing any of your rolling practice, number one, you're going to feel different every day. Um, some days are going to be a little bit more challenging than others. And there's many different areas that you want to focus on. So we like to start with those full ranges down the length 
of those muscles. So you can start to explore where you're feeling tightness. And once you've done that four or five times, you can choose a spot or three and just find where you need that release. Again, it's gonna be different for all of us. And you have a couple of options once you've found that release. You can just move up and back one or two inches. You can bend one knee or even both on that spot of tension. But remember, if this is a really sore, tender spot, one of the things you can do is just hold there and breathe. Let that inhale pull in fresh air and that exhale, let your body sink down into the roller. So maybe try another spot or two. Again, keeping that small range, playing with the levers or just holding. Now, as you're here, if you start to feel any discomfort in your shoulders or your low back, that might be your cue to take a break. We do have to support ourselves here a little bit. So when that is done, when those muscles are done, you can relax. Good. Let's go ahead and roll ourselves back. And we're going to continue on into the side part of the quads, the vastus lateralis mostly. So as we come onto our side, this is where it's helpful to have a long roller. We're going to take the front knee right on an angle on that roller. You can either stay up here, if this doesn't bother your wrists, or you can come down and we're just going to start to roll again down the length of the leg, just below the hip to just above your knee. Now you're not directly on the side, right? You're just on the side of that quad. Now what's nice about this is because you've exposed that hip, you can go all the way up into that hip flex or crease. Good, now again, once you've taken a few passways through, you can just hold a spot that might require a little more attention and just move up and down. Remember to breathe, whether you're holding still and just letting your body sink down on this or whether you're moving, Breath is vital, that inhale in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. And again, maybe you're visiting two or three different spots. Maybe you're taking a break if you're feeling too much tension in the shoulders. Let's take just one more breath wherever we are. And then we're gonna come on to the other side. So again, as we come on to the other side, it will likely feel quite different. We'll go ahead and take that front knee at an angle and that kind of sets us on the side of the quad. You could, of course, be up a little higher. So play around and see what your body needs as far as support. So I know people are often surprised that foam rolling takes so much effort. And one of the reasons it takes a lot of effort is because you have to hold yourself up. So yes, your core is probably fired up. So again, staying in that soft tissue and maybe take about four or five passways all the way through the length of the legs. You may find that this is a little more tight than the front of the quads. And then again, when you're ready, you find two or three spots. First level is just hold there and breathe. Sink down. Next level, you're gonna start to just move up and back, maybe up an inch and down an inch. Good, now again, breathing through this, softening your shoulders, trying to avoid tension in that neck. Maybe visit one more space. And we'll go ahead and come on off. Let's now go a little bit more towards the IT band. Now, I'm not gonna have you roll directly on the IT band. It's not all that effective to do so, but just slightly behind it. Now, I'm also gonna give you a suggestion. If you don't do this all the time, take that front leg and stamp it down in front of you so you're not taking all your body weight on this. You can stay up here if you want and kind of crawl that foot with you, or you can come down. So if you do this all the time, if this is something that you practice, that you roll out for a few minutes a day, several times a week, you can try it with both feet stacked. Now again, with both feet stacked, you have a lot more of your body weight on here. So you might wanna go back to this. Wherever you are, take a few passways through, and then you can just find a spot you wanna stick with just breathe again you might be on your elbow you might be on your hands and probably the best is kind of to move between those two places and you probably have just enough time to visit two or three different spots and just start to notice that's what's so great about foam rolling it allows us to notice let's come over to the other side where we're holding tension 
Because again, when we actually are faced with having to explore all of these places in the body, we start to notice, wow, maybe my right side is a little more dominant in my athletic activities. Maybe I'm holding more tension into my quads or you know, maybe I'm gripping more than I'd like. So again, taking a few pathways through, never rolling over bones or joints, but staying in that soft tissue, and then rolling up and back. So most of what we're rolling over and foam rolling is muscle, right? So our muscles get tight, they get those adhesions, your massage therapist calls them knots. But we're also rolling over fascia, which for lack of a um, time here to go into a really complex description. You can just think of it as connective tissue, soft connective tissue. Good. Let's go ahead and come on up and we'll get one more area in that lower half. So now you're going to sit on the roller. Now be careful. The roller is a round shape and it does move. So when you sit on it, you're just going to scoot up and back and find that place really right about where your jean pocket would be. So you're in between the bones of the tailbone, the sacrum. Now, you let your knees drape over to one side and just start to roll down until you feel that outer part of the hip. Now, everybody's gonna be a little different. And that's why rolling is a practice, kind of learning where you need to release. I like to take this hand around to remind me to shift the weight in that direction. Now, if you need to go a little bit deeper, you can always cross that front leg over taking the foot up on the shin, still leaning in that direction as you go up and back. And this one is quite small, not a big range at all. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, feeling that breath settle you down, maybe soften the shoulders, and then we'll come to the other side. So I'm just gonna turn this way, sort of my back to you. Again, you'll wanna find that midpoint between the sacrum and the tailbone. And you're gonna let your knees drop to your side and just find that place, that soft tissue, outer part of the hip. I like to take that hand there and that is to remind me to shift my body weight that way. Good, now again, you can take that leg over or not. Maybe on the second side you're feeling, I'm already feeling this. I don't need to go any further. This is already quite an intense sensation. So I want to invite you when you're doing your rolling practice to take what you need and leave what you don't need. That's just the case with everything in fitness. And let's take maybe one more inhale and one more exhale. And then we'll go ahead and roll ourselves off and we'll go into our calves. So we can just let our sit bones stay down. Now, if you're taking your body weight on your shoulders and your wrists, I want you to have your wrists forward to keep the rotator cuff a little safer. If you're not, you can turn them how you wish. We're gonna start with your left leg up on top of the roller, and you can take your right leg down. And again, we're not taking a whole lot of our body weight on this. There are options to do that, but for today, you're just using that top leg and providing some resistance. And then let's scoot ourselves down. Come to that center. So I like to break the calf into three sections. The lower section just above the Achilles, then right here in the big bulby part of the muscle, and then coming to that last section. You're not gonna move very much, right? So you have to really consider where you wanna work. Good, let's switch to the other side. So taking your right leg on top, and that left leg presses down. So again, if you were to lift your body up, you'd want your fingers forward. Here, I'm not doing that. Let's come to the center. And that's just my choice. It doesn't feel great for my shoulders or my wrists to support my body weight and roll out the calves. You can go for it if you want. Coming up to that last piece. And then we'll go ahead and remove the roller off to the side. And again, we're gonna go into that spine stretch forward, that seated forward fold. If you wanna grab your toes, fine. You can also grab your ankles, your shins. Rock and roll the weight back and forth, side to side. Take a beautiful inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then sweep your legs around to the side. Bring your hands back under your shoulders, coming into that cat and cow. One more time. 
and then step that left leg forward coming into that low lunge. Tip the hip forward, kind of stretch some of the muscles that we worked there. Good, take your arms out in front, straighten that front leg and hinge. You can take your hands down, flex over. Maybe your hands flat, maybe your fingers stay tented. And then take both hands to the inside, sweep around. And then go ahead and step forward with the other leg. So this is a good sequence you can do anytime. You've kind of done a lot more running than you're used to or a hard strength workout. And you can be reminded of some ways to be gentle and kind to your body. Good, take your arms out in front. Straighten that front leg, hinge and then allow yourself to roll down. And I always tell my clients that, you know, you don't have to roll out for 30 minutes every day. It's more beneficial to do this a few times a week and just choose a few different areas to hit. Even if it's just three minutes, five minutes, maybe on the commercial breaks of the shows you're watching, let's come on to the balls of the feet and hover, stretching through those calves, then drop your heels and roll yourself back up. Let's take a nice deep inhale to close. And exhale one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Great work. Thanks for joining me on this mini foam roller session. We'll see you next time.